It's been a builder's dream when it comes to rental properties, but how much of those properties are for people who need the housing the most? And housing experts believe the Madison area vacancy rate could exceed record lows. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. Thanks for joining us. Andy Choi explains how the demand for rental properties it brings big business, but also tough times at the same time. Andy. Yeah, it's as essential as food and clothing for all of us. But while more roofs are being built, it's no promise those new roofs will shelter our communities most vulnerable. While most kids keep toys in a room of their own, Nessa Uriostegui's kids haven't called a room their own in a while. I've been looking for low income housing for me and my four kids for about three years now, and I've run out of places to stay. It's why Nessa is turning now to the Dane County Housing Authority, where experts say Madison's rental vacancy rate of 2.3% could dip even lower. I think when we see the fourth quarter numbers come out, we may see vacancy rates as low as sub 2% in the Madison area, which would be absolutely unheard of. That would be the lowest um, since uh, those numbers have been tracked by Madison Gas and Electric in the last 16 years. Vacancy numbers are never concrete, and Mackenzie Apartments are doing its part to open up new opportunities for those looking to rent. You obviously here in Verona see a, a big benefit from Epic, and uh, at our properties now we have seen an influx of Epic employees coming in. Developer Jack McKenzie says his projects are driven by what the market currently demands, which too often is not what lower income families truly need. What we find that's being developed right now, we're talking two bedrooms in the $1,100, $1,200 price range, and it's just simply not affordable. I think there definitely is a market for uh, well done, affordable housing. Uh, I think it starts with the city putting that into their neighborhood plans and, and into their, their zoning plans. We didn't ask to be in this situation. We didn't ask for these cards to be handed to us, but we are here, and these kids deserve a place to stay just like everyone else's kids. And we should note the term affordable housing is defined as a home where the total cost of rent and utilities does not exceed 30% of a renter's income. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, the fair market rent for a two bedroom apartment in Wisconsin is $740. And for that unit to be defined as affordable, the renter's wage must be greater than $14 an hour. The wage for Wisconsin's average renter is just above $11. That's more than $3 an hour short. And if you think about where the rental market is right now, now, 740 for a two bedroom will be hard to find around here. No kidding. So what do city officials say about the need for affordable housing? Yeah, I spoke to the Madison Housing uh, Operations Unit and officials say budget numbers are still not where they need to be in order to utilize the programs that could boost that incentive to build those affordable homes. Bottom line, all of this a direct result of the housing bubble bursting in 08 and 09. Experts say it's going to take some time for that vacancy rate to reach a healthy 5%. A big issue. Andy, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.